Drink up. <laughs> Do you have any to fix? Yes. Oh, great. Uh, You're a good friend, Leah. Oh, no, I just really like the game. That's not what I'm talking about. Seriously, Rex, you don't owe me anything. It was just a stupid mistake. I'm going to get you money for you. Trust me. Will you go out there and have fun? Leave this to us. Thanks. Sorry, I thought Heath was supposed to be on drink duty. Well, that happy couple made it clear they didn't want him here. What? It's their wedding, their choice. Go away. That's no way to speak to an old friend. I'm not in the movie company. I've got beer. Wait, aren't you meant to be working at the wedding reception? I got banned. By the bride or the groom? Both, on separate occasions. Impressive. What, are they scared you're going to spoil the wedding photos? <sighs> it's complicated. Since when did you get involved with anything complicated? The Heath I used to know lived by a very simple philosophy. You wanted it, you took it. You didn't, you chucked it. There must be something in the water here. <sighs> so the good old days, huh? And now you're a naughty school teacher. Mm. <laughs> You know it. Remember a weekend at Dugong Rocks? I remember someone got very burnt. <laughs> In places that should not see that much sun. <laughs> to old times, eh? Mm. Hi. Oh, hey, April. Gorgeous dress. What's going on? Having a few beers with a mate. Can I talk to you about what happened with Bianca today? Yeah, sure, we uh, gave in to our animal instincts right before she promised to love and obey Murphy till death do them part. I want you to come back to the reception with me. <laughs> no, thanks. Hey. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Am I missing something here? Nope. Let me guess. You met outside the bottle shop when she asked you to buy her beers. She's not that young. <laughs> She's one of my students. Not to mention the sister of your ex. I told you it's complicated. Well, I think it's about time you uncomplicated your life, don't you? Dad really wants to. Come on. Hey, um, are you sure you don't need a hand? No, I'm pretty sure my kitchen staff can handle slicing cake. Sorry, I'm interfering. That's no, all right, I understand. It must be a bit strange uh, not doing the catering at your mate's wedding. Yeah, it is a little odd, actually. And we both know I have a history of interfering in people's business. I guess I've got to stop that. Interfering, helping out, problem solving, it's a, it's a grey area. Look, I'm sorry, I've, I've got to ask. You seem really confident that you're going to pay me back. How are you getting the money? It is legal, isn't it? Yeah, it's all above board. I promise, don't worry about it. Hey, what are you doing here? I was going to knock, but I wasn't sure if you were alive. Well, here we go. Did you sleep with Henry last night? I'm not doing this. Hey, I left my sister's wedding to see you, and then I find you having a great time with your ex-girlfriend. How is that supposed to make me feel? I don't know. I deserve to know what happened. No, actually, you don't, because it's none of your business. What? We didn't make any rules for seeing other people, and before you ask, we're not going to. Sam, Shut the door on your way out. <laughs> Sally, thought you were too good for us, mate. Yeah, I am. How long are you back for? Long enough. Test your skills. <laughs> Hold it. All right, all right, all right. You're slipping, mate. See you around. See ya. <coughs> Thought Sully was chasing a championship or something. <coughs> no, he's lined up a local fight. Yeah. Ultimate fight is Yabby Creek. Tonight. We go? Yeah. Great. Should have seen Sully's last fight. The other bloke's still in hospital. Yeah, it gets pretty rough out there. Right, I will chuck some bets on. Who you want to go? Is Sully or uh, who's this mug he's fighting? Me. You're joking. 
What does it look like? I'm joking. Mate, this isn't boxing. These guys know everything. Wrestling, martial arts. Yeah, I'll be right. I'm serious. This isn't some street ball, mate. You haven't got the training to go up against a guy like Sally. Well, I've got to pay Leah back, don't I? By getting your head kicked in. Well, seeing as it's your fault, she lost her money in the first place, I think you should probably keep quiet. All I'm saying is... Well, stop saying it. I just need to know you'll back me up. All right, I want you in my corner. Big fella. Are you still reverend jiu-jitsu? Sorry? I've seen your flyers at the surf club. Do you still teach? Oh, yeah, 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 I do. You can, you can teach Brax how to use the force or whatever it is you do? Well, if he's generally interested, he could join the class. It's a bit more urgent than that. I don't understand. He's entered himself into a cage fight. I don't know if you've seen it on TV, but you can use whatever fighting style you're trained in. Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with mixed martial arts. Well, he's, he's not a bad boxer, but uh, get him on the ground, he's useless. He's been in a few street balls and stuff, but uh, I was hoping that's where you come in. Well, he's hardly going to accept help from me. He will if he wants to win. Look, sometimes the most important lesson in life is learning how to lose. Come on, Reverend, his life's screwed up enough. And you're not going to let a son of God get his head smashed in, are you? a big green present. What are you doing here? Here to talk to you about the fight. Explain to me how that is any of your business. Because you can throw a punch, but apart from that, you're useless. And he is the Mr. Miyagi of the Bay. Thought he could show you a few things. Look, your brother's just looking after you. I'm here to do the same. Brax, I know you're grieving, but you don't have to put yourself on the firing line for more pain. Oh, I wasn't planning on letting the other bloke land too many punches. See, that's the problem. With this kind of fighting, you don't know what your opponent's going to come up with. Just let the bloke show you a few ninja priest moves. Might give you the upper hand. Look, it doesn't work that way. You're asking me to teach Brax in an afternoon something that will take a lifetime to learn. You need training. Well, look, you're the one that laid down the law to me about getting Leah her money back. Now, this is the way I'm going to do it. Yeah, but, mate, you need to win to do that. There are other ways to raise money. Oh, well, cake stalls aren't really my thing. Leah wouldn't want you to do this. She wouldn't want you to get hurt. Leah doesn't need to know. Can you just listen to the bloke? Look, you want to do me a favour? Why don't you say a prayer for me? Seeing you both think I'm going to get smashed. <laughs> I'm getting really over this window thing. Is that why you've gone for an older woman? He's still yapping about Henry. But I can't just forget about it, Ace. Yeah, what are you doing here? You left me eight messages on my phone? You want to send me fine, so you're like... No, no. Where have you been? You don't want to know. Let's just say it was a rough night and now I need to unwind. I missed you. You gotta answer my question about Henry. No. Then you need to go. Why? Well, because this is important to me, Heath. I need to know where I stand. Fine. We had a few drinks and a laugh about old times. And that's it? That's it. You happy? I know that you two have history, so if you want to be... I'm here with you, Anna. Yeah. First installment. That's eight grand. Where did you get that? Doesn't matter. Yeah, it does matter. I won a dinner fight at Fair and Square. You're fighting for money. Yeah, I did a right day. Yeah, you look great. Well, you should see the other bloke. Brax, you need to go to the doctor. No, I'm all right. Brax, please. Go back to bed, Casey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? No, 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 no. Leave it, leave it, leave it. All right, we'll sit down. Sit down. 
Who did this to you, Brace? I was in a cage fight. And I won. Oh, wait, you were in a cage fight. Are you all right? Actually, uh, you go grab me some ice. Why were you cage fighting? Uh, to earn money so I can pay back Leah. Why do you owe Leah money? Look, it's a long story, but a few more bouts like tonight and I'll shit out no, 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 better. No, no, not a few more bouts. Look at you. Leave it, Casey. Are you serious? Casey, no, look at you. Casey, just leave it.